and talking about you there, Governor, but what about what the president's going to do politically tonight, do you think? Well, well, first, there is this false narrative that Republicans are, are not trying to work uh, with the president on a piece of legislation. Uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, the, the best uh, immigration bill that's been passed in Washington, D.C., uh, is the one passed by the United States House of Representatives. If Joe Biden was serious, and if the Democrats were serious in the Senate, they would actually take the piece of legislation already passed out of the U.S. House, work with it to deliver some solid results to secure the border. Second thing is, uh, contrary to what Mayorkas said, the fact of the matter is, uh, when Biden became president, and today, there are three laws passed by Congress already that empower the president to deny illegal entry, which he's not doing, he's aiding and betting illegal entry. Second, to detain anybody who crosses the border illegally, which he's not doing. And third, requires the president to build border barriers, including border walls, including the, the razor wire fence that Texas has built that Biden is trying to tear down. So what, what Joe Biden is doing, he's refusing to enforce laws already passed by Congress and actually is acting contrary to those laws. Again, there's no word that can be articulated by the president tonight that will overcome the facts of the way that he has unilaterally destroyed the United States of America. Governor Greg Abbott criticizes Joe Biden's leadership, expressing deep concern about the damage caused by Biden's policies, especially in immigration and border security. Abbott emphasizes the necessity for a strong border and effective law enforcement. He highlights individual responsibility and authenticity in leadership. Abbott implies that Biden should take responsibility for policy outcomes and genuinely address American concerns. He stresses the importance of facts and legislative action, critiquing the Biden administration's perceived failure to enforce existing border control laws while advocating for compliance. Abbott's communication style is firm, repeatedly emphasizing that presidential words alone cannot solve issues, aiming to convey the urgency of the problem. This creates a discourse characterized by complexity, varied sentence structures, and reduced predictability.